Oh, wait! Wait, there's an update on the parents having their boyfriend over where their son lives. Get ready for it. <laughs> Am I the asshole for the way I reacted to my parents' open relationship and no longer paying rent? This is gonna be a doozy. I, 18 male, live with my parents. I've been paying rent since I was 16 since my parents would be financially screwed if I wasn't helping out. A few of my parents told me they are seeing someone and that their relationship is open. Ugh, don't tell me things. I d mm. No one wants to think about their parents like that. That's... No. No. I didn't give a shit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> didn't care. Liked the thought. Dirty. Since it wasn't affecting me until this guy they are seeing started staying nights. Oh No way. No way. If he walks around the house in his pants, that's definitely a deal breaker. He treats the place like it's his. Tries to tell me what to do and eats all... Our. My. Food. I tried talking to my parents about it, but they just said it's their house so they can have who they want to. This is gross. I can't. Maybe they're just really trying to get him out the house. This is the way to do it. That's a hack for parents. I really tried to put up with it until the guy tried to discipline my dog. I flipped my shit. It was most certainly not the way you discipline a dog and I'm already sick of his shit. I yelled the house down, calling him all sorts, like dumb, <laughs> dumb cabbage, that means. Piece of shit freeloader, and some more vile stuff that's probably way too messed up to say you. My parents rushed to see what's going on and tell me off, but instead I told them off, calling them terrible parents. They can shove their house right up their quiche and I ain't gonna pay rent to live in a house I have no say in. That dumb cabbage can cover my rent. I've since been staying with my boyfriend. My parents recently texted me asking for my rent. I told them to F off and reminded them of what I said. I feel like I'm not wrong to pay rent anymore, but I went so overboard with my words. Am I the asshole? God, this one's complicated, isn't it? Hoo-wee! The moment your parents tell you that they've got another dude in their relationship dogging them at night, that's the time to leave. In fairness, if that's what the parents want to do, then it is their life, but it's creepy and it's weird, and I, would want, I wouldn't want any part of it. But, I will say, the guy living in the house as if he owns it, disciplining your dog, it could be possible that you were waiting for him to make a mistake, because, like, you really didn't want him there. But having some guy living in the house and, like, almost making his own rules, taking some form of control and not paying any rent, and living in your parents' bed at night, God, no, I don't think you're an asshole. I think that's weird. The parents shouldn't have moved anybody in knowing how that would make you feel. I do think that. And you're only 18. So it's not like you're 27 living with your parents and you've outstayed your bloody welcome, you know? Yeah, that's a, that's a bit rough on the parents. You know the asshole. They're assholes. I might like wearing gimp outfits. I try not to when my kids run the house, you know? I don't, by the way, and I, and I wouldn't. Yuck. It's changed what you think of me now, innit? Don't care. Am I the asshole for kicking my sister-in-law out for eating my order? <laughughs> Depends. If it was a PlayStation 5 and she ate it, we got problems. My husband's sister moved in with us after a major argument about the baby's name. They're expecting and she's seven. What? Months in. She's seven months pregnant and she moved away from her husband because they were arguing over the baby name. She's known to be picky and refuses to eat what we normally cook. We only cook her favourite food. Which I can't eat. Allergies. Yay. Every day at dinner, I have to figure out what to eat since she only eats food that I'm allergic to. Is that on purpose? Let's find out. Last night, my husband agreed that he'd cook for her and cook for us together separately. I got home after a long day at work and found out that my sister-in-law convinced my husband to only cook the meal she wanted and cancel on the meal we planned to have. I saw them eating together in the kitchen. My husband apologetically said his sister convinced him to eat with her and not to cook the meal I wanted us both to have. Why would she do that? What a weird thing to do. Don't cook for your wife, just cook for me. Strange. I said it was fine, then went to order some food from the restaurant. Oh, everything's, everything's fine. I went to take a shower and did some work on my laptop, then came downstairs to find my order placed on the kitchen counter. It was open. This is gonna be bad. And someone ate the majority of it. This is really bad. I turned around and there was my sister-in-law standing saying she woke up angry and couldn't resist. The smell was coming out of the box. Oh my god. Oh my god. I lost it and yelled at her asking what the hell did she do? 
But she said that she did save me some, which isn't true, because there was only some rice and dressings. We started arguing and I told her I couldn't take this anymore, and I told her to pack her shit and leave first thing in the morning. She began crying and my husband got involved and defended her up and down repeatedly, saying she's pregnant and is eating for two basically. I don't care if she's eating for seven. That was my tucker. He suggested I go make myself something quick from the fridge and let it go, but I refused and a bigger argument ensued. Am I the asshole for kicking her out over this? Okay, let's get down to it. She shouldn't have eaten your food. That's a fact. That was selfish. I don't care how pregnant she is. Order your own food. It's, it's easy nowadays. You got bloody Uber Eats everywhere. He seems not very thoughtful of your feelings because his sister convinced him not to cook you food and he was like, okay, I'll let her starve then. And then his sister eats your food and he's kind of like, ah, make yourself something from the fridge. That's bad. He's, he's not thinking about your feelings at all. I would say though, it seems like if you've kicked her out because she ate your dinner once, you probably don't want her there anyway. So I'm guessing there's some problems that are beyond this one moment. So I think maybe you should address those problems with your sister-in-law and with your husband. Yeah, and with your husband. But ultimately, you need to speak to your husband as well and make sure that he knows just because your sister there doesn't mean that you don't matter. So a lot of talking to do, but I don't think you're an asshole. This might be my favorite thing that I've ever done. I love reading these. Am I the asshole for staying true to my threats after my dad died? Oh, God. This one's gonna get deep. My dad died unexpectedly last week. My condolences. And my sister Jess and I lost our mum last year. Fucking hell. From how our family acted in the past over scavenging over dead people's things, both Jess and I decided to send out a family memo on no one is to enter or take anything from our parents' house until we get there. We're the bosses. Well, it is their parents, so fair enough. Both Jess and I work on the west coast, so it takes some time to get there with all of our kids and family. I saw several notifications from my parents' ring doorbell, and I'm a lawyer. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I reminded my family we will prosecute. What? <laughs> That's a nice family, innit? If you go in the house, you're gonna jail. Jess and I are on the same page. Jess gets to my parents' house first and notices stuff is missing, and my parents had security cameras and an Alexa show. It's shown my cousin taking stuff from the house. So Jess did what we agreed on and called the police. And two of our cousins was arrested because it was over a thousand dollars. Both are looking at felonies. My cousin said my dad promised him the stuff and I have my dad's will making me executor of the estate. I told him he should have wanted to file a claim with the estate and everyone was warned about what would happen. Jess and I don't have the best relationship with our extended family. <laughs> no. Really? I... Well, and we are not dropping the charges. Because of this drama, dad was quietly cremated with no service. We plan to hold, I'm not laughing at this. Look at the outtakes at the end. They had a quiet ceremony for the cremation and they plan on scattering the ashes at Jess's house in a tree planted for them. That's very lovely. My last living grandma is upset about it, but she sided with my cousins and aunts saying we are too tough on having them arrested. Am I the asshole? Um, okay. Technically, they stole. They went into Grandpappy's house and they took the things they wanted is what it sounds like. They said that he granted them these things. Is it in the will? Is there a will to say that he left them things for them? Did they have a close relationship with your grandparent? Because it sounds like you live far away and for them to be able to get there quicker or be there waiting for you suggests they live nearby. So did they have a close relationship with your granddad? It still doesn't make it right that they went into the house and took stuff. I think this is a big problem. Well, it is a big problem. When people die, you get family like vultures that just want to steal as much as they possibly can or get as much as they can from the death instead of actually mourn the person and care more about the person they lost. It seems like money and possessions becomes the most important thing in that moment. I will say, however, if you feel they've taken things they shouldn't have, couldn't you ask them to bring the stuff back and not actually have them charged with a felony? Could they, I mean, they could go to prison because of a felony. Do they deserve prison over this? I think maybe there might be a little bit more to the depth of your hatred in your relationship with the family that might be clouding your judgment a little bit there because your decision to allow them to go to prison for some time might create more problems within your family. And even though legally you were totally within your rights to do so, I think family are usually a little bit more lenient with each other. So I feel like I could probably... I would probably need to know more about this, but I think on, on the face of things, maybe ask him to return the stuff and drop the charges would be the best thing. Maybe a little bit of an asshole. Oh, wait! 
Wait, there's an update on the parents having their boyfriend over where their son lives. Get ready for it. <laughs> it's been over a week since I posted. Thank you guys for your judgments and advice. I have blocked my parents and everything and have gone no contact. After just over a week, I already feel like a new person without them in my lives. Is he a cat? <laughs> I think you should have exposed that at the beginning. This is very different now. My boyfriend has been my rock through all this. I was a mess of tears and anger the first few days, and he's the one who got me through it. I'm currently staying with him, renting. We have been looking for our own place together since the lease on the current place runs out soon. I went to my GP and I got a mental health plan done, so I should be seeing a therapist soon free of charge. The best kind. It's not a huge update, but I'm doing a lot better in so little time from just cutting them out of my life. I'm looking forward to the future. Ah, It's kind of bittersweet in a way because he's lost his family. But <clears throat> it seems like they were putting a lot of pressure on him because for one, I remember him saying that without his money, they couldn't survive. You shouldn't put your kids in that position ever. And for two, they brought, uh, they brought a bosom buddy in the house to uh, live with them and walk around in his pants and kick the dog who also wasn't paying rent considering they were struggling so much so good luck to him i hope that he can rekindle a relationship with his parents if they are in fact worth it but at least he's moving on he's looking inwards at himself what he wants and he's uh he's he's going after his dreams he's living his own life good for you pal so there it is that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like don't forget to sub if you know and leave a comment down below i always like to know what you guys think it doesn't matter if we don't agree you're allowed to be wrong guys okay i'm the best <laughs> and i'll be seeing you guys next time thank you dudes now get out a few of my parents a few of my parents <laughs> i've got several parents they're all shit. My parents for us to sh rush the fucking, huh? <laughs> they can shove their house up their ass and that I'm not gonna pay rent to live in a house I can suck in. They can shove their house up their ass and I'm not gonna s fuck off. Am I the asshole for kicking out my s fucking? Am I the asshole for kicking out my s s fuck off me? My husband apologetically said his sister convinced him to eat with her and not to cook the meal I wanted us to fucking off. And not... <laughs> I lost it and yelled at her asking what the fuck did she do? But she said that she did give some faves. Faves? That's not even a word. She did- What? I lost it and yelled at her asking what the F she did. Fuck. I lost it and yelled at her asking what the fuck she did. That, but she said that she did save me some, which isn't true. Be what? She began crying and my husband got involved and defended her and down- Minge. What was it? She began crying and my- Fuck. She began- My dad- Ma? Jess and I decided to send out a family member- Membo fuckings. Hell. My cousin said my dad promised him this stuff and I have my dad's will making me excaxed for fush I told him he should have fucking no. Because of this drama, dad was quietly cremated with no service and we planned to hold one when scattered our parent fuck. Because of this drama, dad was quietly cremated with no service and we planned to hold one when scattered our parents ashes. It doesn't make any cocking sense, bro. Because of this drama, dad was quietly cremated with no service and we planned to hold one with... Because of this drama, dad was quietly cremated with no service and we planned to hold a ceremony at our parents ashes. Fuck, I it doesn't make sense, so I tried to make up the words and I didn't make sense either. I can't read this part. It's been over a week since I posted. Thank you guys for your judgments and fluckins. It's been over a week- Fucking hell. I went to my GP and got a mental health plan done up, so I fucking- oh, I can't read this one! I lost it and yelled at her, asking what the fuck did she do. But- I quit. I quit. Kill me.